Hello, my name is Derek Bolton. I'm an industrial control specialist here at Electromatic Products in Farmington Hills, Michigan. And today I'd like to show you how to assemble and disassemble the Siemens Sirius Act pilot device line. The first thing I want to show you is it's very simple to add contact blocks to the back of the latch mechanism. As you can see, the Siemens latch mechanism has an arrow here, which is what is used to guide the operator and the device together very easily when we mount this in a panel. But for now, I'd like to show you how to remove the contact blocks and then how to replace them. If you look at these guys, there's a small end and a wide end. The wide end is going to go at the top of the latch mechanism and the small end is going to go at the bottom. To easily remove them, insert a screwdriver into this notch, just a standard flathead will do. You lift up and apply just a little bit of pressure and these contact blocks and LEDs can easily be removed from the bottom of the latch mechanism. Now if I wanted to add contact blocks to this latch mechanism, it's very easy to apply that. I typically will put the LED, which is always going to go in the center position, on first, insert the small end in the bottom, and click in the top end. Put this normally closed contact in next, and then this normally open contact block finally. And I'd have three, well two contact blocks and an LED module assembled here. Let's say I need to add a second normally closed contact block to the back of this latch mechanism. I'll take this normally closed contact and this time with spring terminals and I can add that normally closed contact stackable on the back of our operators. Now what I'd like to do is show you how to put this on the back of a device. You line up this arrow here and this arrow here and when you hear it click you have an assembly. See this latch mechanism? We're going to release this latch mechanism for now. I'd like to now show you how to put this assembly into a panel. Let's pretend this is a small retall enclosure. We'll insert this operator through the hole. You can see the arrow is pointing through here. I line that arrow up with my arrow on my latch mechanism. When it clicks, it's in place. Now, I need to tighten this in so that it doesn't rotate. I take this one screw on the back, and if you can see, I'll just give it a couple of turns. When this screw is tight, a couple things happen. Number one, I've just grounded that assembly together. I've also made it so that that latch mechanism will no longer allow me to release the contact box from the back of the operator. And furthermore, this happens to be a twist to release device. Over time, this is not going to come loose. So you won't have to worry about those wires getting tangled up like our competitors. If you have additional questions or if you'd like to see more instructional videos, please visit our website or call us or check out our social media for further updates on the latest information. Thanks again. We'll see you again soon.